spirits. Shall we check our packs and be off? I hope you slept well. Times such as these are what lanterns are for. That's better. I don't much like the dark. Thank you kindly. I did not mean to trouble you. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Have no fear, Master. You are the Arisen, yes? The Captain gave me your description. Follow me! the other guards spy you. I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, your majesty. Sent out to Mel. Mel, I say. I'm not sure who gave the order. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. Do you recall that package from Batau I delivered to the minister's chambers last week? What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to... none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. We meet again. 
Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Who's there? Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. If you wish to speak for... It's my duty to hear the people's concerns. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. would be a wasted opportunity not to make our delivery while we're here. I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. It is as you say. Now we must report to Captain Bratt. That's the way of things, is it not? Ah, yes, I know just where to find this person. Follow me. much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, true to our word, we offer you the power of the God's way. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does, though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it? And ere it slips my mind, pray, 
Take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasers fellow. But what... Precisely as their aim. As a reward for your majesty's... You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. To break the law is to be thrown in... There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we would... The vanguard? Say no more. Oh, here at last. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as often as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. I quite agree. 
Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Boy, you risen. Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now, we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. Of course. Master, if you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, oh, excellent find. Good evening, sir. You know where to find me. This inspires an old person to look as long as Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist.
Have you found any of the items we discussed, Percha? Always a pleasure. How am I to be of service? Need anything? Stop by again soon. Where was I headed? Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet. Foot. you arisen this should be plenty i'll take it to the church straight away it's a goodly deed we've done aiding the sin i only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums you have my support If you please, pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience.
Shall we visit the manor as the maid bid? I can guide you there, if you wish. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Sir, I must confess I feared you would not. But I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Diana, would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offence. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Splendid! Thank you so very much. T'was in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation? I have been waiting for you, Arisen. I've more time than I know how to spend. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. again for all your help you really made a difference around here hmm? you wanted to ask me a favor this time all right how can I help so this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that it work I mean I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. All right, I'll do it. But if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Let's take it easy. 
seat today. Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. Look, young master. She's here. Indeed. I could be staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. What a kindness you've done me. Now I can go and fetch a gift for mother. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing, and she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey. You know, the roads around Malv are supposed to be really dangerous. I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. Let's see. What else must I bring? Ah, I almost forgot. In that goes. The lands around Melva right is not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? Seems Master Sebastian is lacking a few supplies. Shall we gather what springs to mind? It is a ladder. Shall we? Weary at this hour, sir. You must have. Quite a tale to tell. You know where to find me. The solution eludes me, but I'm certain there is one. Welcome. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Need anything? Stop by again soon. Might as well. 
Well then, I must confess, I feel rather uneasy. This is my first time leaving the city. I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. Hmm. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Take care, young master. Come back safe. Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward, so pray do come visit us again. We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. It is not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. To think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. Make it quick. I ain't got all day. Thanks, cuz. Here to ask all of me, I... Now that's something! Shall we get some rest then? Adventure continues. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? It is lovely to see you. You've my gratitude. You want something? Appreciate it. Now, don't keep me in the dark. 
Here you are, sir. Suppose you can hang about. Don't get in my way. I'd love to talk with you. Barely drag my ass out of bed. Think you stand a chance? Not on your life. I expect Captain Brandt will want to hear of this. much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen or shall change once we have attended the coronation if your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to tis best you do so before we depart very well the coronation is to take place on the morrow we shall depart early in the morn so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. The sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this god's sway? 
I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brant's investigation. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's prey, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. of our surroundings if we had a lantern lit. That's better. I don't much like the dark. Thank you kindly. I did not mean to. A good sleep will ensure we're... Are we to depart at this hour? I cannot see why we should choose to stumble around in the dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. First things first, we must speak with Captain Brandt. much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. Regarding the matter of the godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. But alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part. But as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. Sebastian and Miss Daphne fair of late. Shall we pay them a visit? Follow me, Master, if you would. I'll bring you to the... You the Arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Oh, sir, the young Master has not returned. 
I beg you, find him and bring him safely home. If all were to befall him, I... Oh, I shudder to think. You'll help him, won't you, Arisen? If Master Sebastian is yet to return, perhaps we ought to make for Melv and search for him. I, I've a rough idea of where our destination lies. Uh, shall I show you there, Master? A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. This ox cart's back. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Fortune favors us, it would seem. Suppose courage can only take it so far. But of course, Arisen. You may depend upon me. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Might there be aught over there? We ought to get closer there. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. I shall gladly smash every last one.
Come to think of it, the private quarters of one arisen I served had... There are one or two places of interest nearby. I will tell you more about them if you like. I will protect you. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. I'm only glad to have proven my worth. It will be an honor to serve by your side. A treasure chest. Here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Tis rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Methinks I can make it over there. Might I be of assistance? A foe in sight. Hmm. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day.
Master Sebastian is yet to return, perhaps we ought to make for Melv and search for him. I, I, I can guide you to the vicinity of our destination, Master. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. There are one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. One of our number is unconscious. All this fuss over a moment's in caution. It shan't happen again. Are we leaving already? Oh, bother. I was just getting warmed up. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look.
Tis our first time in this place. We would do well to be wary. Surely naught is beyond our combined experience. We could do with the lantern's light. It's a glad thing I came prepared. Thank you kindly. I did not mean to talk. There are one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. All things considered, I suspect that is something best left alone. Indeed. One never can be too cautious. I'll lead the way.
We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us own our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? is yet to return. Perhaps we ought to make for Melv and search for him. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? The guide is most welcome. Where the story is? My fury shan't be of any against this person. Well done. Well done, Master. <laughs> Ord fell from the beast as it breathed its last. Trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Over here, if you please. obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. I would gladly be of aid. <laughs> We 
We've arrived, just as planned. If Master Sebastian is yet to return, perhaps he ought to make for Mel with him, sir. He thinks I know the general destination. We're in your hands, sir. As a matter of fact, loath as I am to recall the events of the coronation, they are fresh in my mind still. How might the technique used to control us be displayed? Veld. Now here's a surprise. Uh, collect. Chin grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. We are none of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Oh, well spotted. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. I'll lead the way. Would that such tranquility could last? True enough.
found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Pray, follow me. Here we are. Thank you. Never did I dream those plants were poisonous. I suppose I was rather careless. You have my gratitude, but do excuse me. I'd best make for home. You have my gratitude, but do excuse me. I'd best make for home. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Would that ox carts were a bit safer and a bit swifter too. It is preferable to walking everywhere, that's for certain. This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Crossing me. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. 
We ought to put it to good use. Home at last! Welcome home, young master. Thank you, Diana. I am glad to be back. Twas a hard journey, but I found what I sought. A blue sunbright, the sigil of our house. I only hope Mother will be pleased. Oh, a blue sunbright. I thought they were make-believe. Oh, no. They're quite real. Rather rare, though, and particularly to Melv. I'm surprised you've heard of them, to be frank. Really? Well, there's a picture of one stuck to the inner cover of a book that was donated to the Gracious Hand. I asked Sir Kendrick about it. He told me the flower's name. A picture, you say? How very odd. I believe Miss Daphne is describing a book plate. The book in question will have been a donation from this very house. Indeed, the mistress has been very generous in her support of the gracious hand over the years. For true? Oh, I must tell her thank you. I think I could arrange that. I am certain my mistress would be delighted. Yes. Well, as for me, I'm just pleased to be home safe and sound. All this racket! What's going on? Good gracious, what is the meaning of this? Oh, you must be the lady who's been supporting the gracious hand. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. What precisely have you told this girl? Not a word, mistress. I swear it. Good. As for you, girl, you need not thank me. Tis the privilege of the nobility to help those who are less fortunate. Now, tis getting late. You had best be off. Do be sure to leave the house unseen. And fare you well, child. Know that where'er life may lead you, you may take pride in who you are. Come, Diana. I would speak with you alone. You have some explaining to do. What was that all about? Mother seemed awfully perturbed. I do wonder what that was all about. Though I'm not sure we ought to pry. I scarce know what to make of this outcome. Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he's set his sights on the still. However pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night, and I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Nought. That tyrannical. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Nor compares to a real battle. Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times we live in. We must rest. Though the sun is
I witnessed a stunning display of archery on my... It appears night has fallen while we slept. Shall we check our packs and be off? A new day, a new perspective. Crime committed here will see one confined to jail. You have my fullest confidence. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Ox carts make for relative. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Have we purchased all that we require? We ought to review the contents of our packs just to be sure. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Over many fierce battles was our bond forged. Let us work Mighty. together to honor the arisen. I learned of a forgotten riftstone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it if you like. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Christmas gets the worm, as they say. Might I interest you in my humble way? Yes. 
Hope to see you again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. There, Master! Saurians! I send our allies against the tree. You have my protection. Genius. My own master must hear of this tactic. Truly? Pleasantly cool here. What with a canopy overhead? Let us hope we make it through without incident. You have my support. I should be glad to assist you, Arisen. I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Materials makes for dull work indeed.
receives a decent score for the side. Surely the rest can wait till after we've examined the game. We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. It shall be done. I'm here to aid you, Arisen. Shoppers! Seems there's no escape in them. I doubt ice will be of any use against it. I will protect you. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations.
Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. You there? Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. Materials, eh? You best go elsewhere, friend. There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. You best go up. There's no business to be had here. The day grows darker with our every step. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? Us. Blended discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Fancy look at my wares.
always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be select. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place. Tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like, sir. This is the end, of course. Nothing's free in this world. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time. Good morrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Fancy look at my wares? Do come again. Too much excitement is rarely a good thing. This is the head course. 
Nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. This is the echoes. Nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. Greetings. I must say, I mean, I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the Thiefmaster. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. 
And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. I dare say we could sell this for a fair amount of gold. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? A brief respite as naught to decry. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. It will find a use for it, I'm sure. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while.
You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. Now, as to the Maester's teaching. Not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. My apologies for the wait. We grew further apart than I'd anticipated. Do take care, not no doubt you're dazzled by my charm. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Not without its charm. <coughs> Living's hard. But dreams are free. Good to see you. This is the it, course. Nothing's free in this world. Glad to be of service, sir. This is the course. Nothing's free in this world.
glad to be of service. Well met, sir. How much Living's odd, but dreams are free. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Faring well, I think. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Fascinating. Look there. I spy another statue. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I need to watch out for the choppers? To think I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard.
Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique, sir. Guard all you want. This won't make a difference when I trap Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Feast your eyes on this! to the Arisen's judgment. Indeed, you are correct. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. We must rest, though the sun is still up. <laughs> 